Hey, hi, hello, it's Casey, and today we're docked at St. Martin on board Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. We're gonna get off, check it out, and then explore the ship. Let's go have some fun. That was tiring. We woke up at like 10 o'clock and we wanted to go to Solarium Bistro, but they closed at 10.30. There's a butterfly. <laughs> I don't know how we got here. Uh, and it closed at 10.30 and we got here at like 10.27 and they still have quite a bit of food. But look at this food. They got a donut and eggs and potatoes and cinnamon roll and bacon. And it was super quiet and we love sitting out here. Like the view in the bistro or the view in the solarium is wonderful. You can see the ocean, you can see the island. I love it here. So we're gonna eat our food and then get off and go to St. Martin. Did we just see in the solarium? Yes. Are we now in the windjammer looking for more food? Also yes. But look at this view. We're in St. Martin today. And it looks beautiful. This water is so blue. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. This is just perfect. You wanna see the world's saddest sight? Coconut Ranger cookie that I can't access. Okay, come on. Is this fake? Like, you cannot make this up. This is insane. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Wow. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I've never seen water so blue in my life. Wow. Should we get off on the island? Yeah, why Check not? It out? Let's do it. This is so pretty, so pretty. Wow. Let's get off and go check it out. Let's go. Beautiful. Let's get off. They're doing crew drills and they keep making announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, have your attention please. This announcement is for the All to herself. We have a assembly station. It's interesting to hear. They've been doing crew drills all morning. We're in the elevator and we're going down to the gangway. We're going down to the gangway. They tell you to go to deck three. Like the gangway button in the elevator brings you to three, but then you have to walk down to two. <laughs> so you could just take the elevator to two. <laughs> Yeah, the line was all the way up the stairs. No, but right now, there's no one. It's so pretty. I love this. I've never been to this port. I, I'm sure I have, but I don't remember it at all. And this is gorgeous. Look at that aft. which was like a two minute walk away. And they have a bunch of little shops. They have Crocs, if you want Crocs. They're jamming over here. If you've never seen an Effie, then you've never been on a cruise. We're looking at magnets. We try to collect a magnet at every port. And these ones are really cute. I love the little seagull on the anchor. They have some cute ones here. I like it. I didn't know you could get glitter at the beach. They have Christmas ornaments. This like I've cool. never seen that. Okay. Sounds like round. Oh, that's cute. And more magnets. They're all very similar. I like the lighthouse one. They have a bunch of hats. They have some really cool St. Martin t-shirts. This booth is just all Hawaiian shirts. 
They even have Hawaiian dresses if you want one. And it comes with a scrunchie. I like these. I always wore these when I was younger. I kind of like the one with the bird on it. Oh, this one has a bunch of turtles. Turtle. They have a lot more turtle ones. They have the plane for the plane beach. That's cool. Maho. Oh, this one's cute. It's like an anchor and it still oh, has a seagull. You can actually read it. Oh my god, this one has Nemo. That's an interesting Nemo. He looks scared for his life. This one's cute. Put the turtle and that's like a seashell. Do I do the turtle, the scary Nemo, or the anchor? Right. Let's get this one. Look how cute he is. That's awesome. Five dollars. Yeah, a little bag. I love him. I'm gonna put it in my backpack. There's another area for another cruise, but we're the only cruise here today. I feel like this would be packed if there was another ship. Oh. Every single person, well, let me rephrase that. A lot of these people are on excursions. So the boat is empty, but the excursions were awesome. They had so many, but now I see why they have so many. Because just like St. Thomas, the port itself is kind of small. You kind of have to like take a taxi or rent a car or do an excursion to expand beyond this downtown area. Yeah. Which we're not doing today. We'll do it one day. I like it. What should we do now? We're gonna get back on the ship and explore. Oh, I want to do the zip line. Ooh. Let's go to the zip line. Oh, yeah, you'll do it. She's dancing. Come on. Bye. Look at this. I've never seen a more beautiful view for my ice cream. This water, I can't get over how blue this is. This is amazing. We're sitting on the pool deck eating our ice cream. This is our pretty view again. There's not a lot of people on the kids' slide. There's not a lot of people at the bar. We just asked about the zip line, but it doesn't open until three o'clock. It's only 12 o'clock right now, so we have to wait. But at one o'clock, there's a cool workshop that we're gonna go do. Sandbar. Yeah. I still can't get over this. We're back at the Windjammer though. Look at this, there's nobody down in the kids' pool area. There's very few people in the main pool area. There's really not a lot of people on this ship right now. It's open until 3 p.m. Hello. of the ship looks everybody's in here that's why we're off the ship we found a nice table in the windjammer and we can see the mini golf course the ultimate abyss basketball court this is a nice table i could sit here all day this is what i really came here for cooking the ranger cookies a man and his wife just walked by me and he looked at me and he laughed and his wife said, what? And the guy said, that little girl's just sitting there eating her cookie. What's it to you, Dale? I like my cookie. Down to the promenade. We're going to card making class. That's exactly what we signed up for this cruise for. Card making class and cookies. Oh my god, we went all the way down and we didn't even stop. A rare sight. The perk of cool. port days. Yeah, right? This way. I can't believe you just made fun of my cookie. He seemed quite impressed, honestly. You should try getting a cruise cookie. You should also subscribe. My cookie's almost gone and I'm really sad, but you should always try to get a cruise cookie. And by that I mean get a cookie and walk around the cruise, and you have a cruise cookie. Cookies make everything better, even cruises. Oh, goodbye. It's all not very busy out here. It's not nearly as crazy as it is on sea days. We've made it to the solarium. 
and we're gonna try to find an egg chair. And if we can't find an egg chair, we'll just sit in normal chairs. All I wanted to do this entire cruise was just sit in an egg chair and do nothing. So we're trying to find an egg chair. What is going on here? <laughs> what is this sculpture? <laughs> I'm confused. I like this egg chair. This is our view. There's no one over here, this is nice. This is how to make up an egg chair with Casey. You put a towel over the pillows because you don't know how many people's heads have been on those pillows. And then you put one here because the plastic feels disgusting. And then you lay an egg chair and then you just become hibernated for a few hours. Happy? I'm so happy. I mean, this isn't the vibiest of vibes. We got an LDC. We got the ocean right here. The vibiest of vibes. We're sitting in our egg chair and then we got soaked. It's so not gonna get back to our room page. We got rained on. We went back to the room and dried off a little bit and now I'm gonna go do the zip line. We're gonna go do the zip line on the pool deck and then we're gonna go eat some food again. Look at the floor rider with a view. Oh, he's doing good. This is right across from where the zip line is. You get on the zip line over there. And then right across from it is the floor rider. Just for reference, the zip line starts right there and goes over boardwalk down there. And down there is Johnny Rockets, and that's where we're gonna go eat. People are playing mini golf up here. He said I have to take off all my jewelry to do the zip line. So I'm trying to take it all off. Okay, just put your both hands on the trolley. There we go. Then I need to make it. So you can see the landing over there, right? Yeah. You'll try to stop on top of the blue. Okay. Okay, that's it. Let's go to number three. All right. Have a seat. Feet on the edge. Ready? Yeah. Good. Three, two, one, get up. Ah! Woo! Ah! Ah! All right. Okay, one step back, man. How was it? You like it? That was good. Awesome. All right, keep holding. That's cool. All right, hold this one, man. Give me your hand, slowly step down on the box. Bye. Awesome. Now all you have to do now is to push this door, exit the head, and on the hand. She said there's never no line. Bruh. Really? Yeah, that was fun. Typical Casey, not even phased. She's gonna do it again so we can get it in slow-mo for you guys. Uh, take off your glasses and give me the strap. Oh, yeah. Please. This water, I've never seen water so blue in my life. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I love it here. What should we do now? Food. Want to go to Johnny Rockets? Let's go. Let's go. Johnny Rockets. Oh, yeah. 
So Johnny Rockets is an extra cost restaurant. It's not included with your cruise fare like a lot of the other restaurants. It's $12.99 per person, and it includes a starter, an entree, a dessert, and soda is included, even if you do not have a drink package. It's usually busy, but it's not very busy today. So we were able to choose our seat. You can sit inside as well if you want, or you can sit outside on the balcony. It's really not that busy. We're still at port for another, what time is it? It's 3.30 right now. We're still at port for another two-ish hours. So a lot of people are still out on their excursions or out on the port. There was nobody in line at the zip line, which the crew member that helped me said was super rare. She said there's always a long line right at opening. The boardwalk's nice. They're playing music. It's super breezy. I don't know what that banging noise is. I think it's somebody fixing. Yeah, he's fixing something. They're always cleaning and fixing. It's amazing. Like everything is always spotless and so clean. They work so hard all day long, including right now. <laughs> I'm not mad though. He's keeping it in ship shape, ship shape, tip, tip, sh tip top shape. Ship top shape. Okay. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just gonna wait for our food. I'm so excited. We just got our food. I got a barbecue chicken melt and french fries. It's dessert time. I got apple pie and vanilla ice cream. Boom. I'm so excited about this. This is where the zip line goes. All the way across. She's a daredevil. It's a lot of decks up. This says that the max weight is 300 pounds, so I'm gonna do it. I think the sheer problem is that I'm too large. Like, I'm not beyond the weight, but like, how do I get it? <laughs> how do I get it in between these two? Once you're in, you're in. <laughs> That's just not a natural movement. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done. I think I should just quit while I'm ahead. I think I'm just gonna get out now. If I can figure out how. This is like, you know, when you went to Chuck E. Cheese as a kid? That's what this feels like. Oh my goodness. How the heck do you do this? Away. I know it's meant for children. Why did you give up? Because I'm just too big. <laughs> Cool. I dig it. I don't recommend if you're larger than a child, but you can do it. I can go in this one. This looks like the easier option. Yeah, it gets easier once you go up here. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. Why? Because they get so skinny up there. Keep going. You get uh, to the top. Huh? You can get to the light blue one at the top. No, people are staring at me. That's the only hard one because there's one above you. Once you're up, there's none above you. The, but this goes like this. You got it. No, coming I, down. I'm coming she can make down. it up there, I know she can. I got the world to show, gotta let you go. Hi, I'm coming out. This that looks was, like the hardest part. That was fun while it lasted. I can't do the limbo. Limbo, limbo. Ta-da! What did you think of Johnny Rockets? That was good. That was really yummy. It's worth it because, like, you have to pay for it, but it's really good. It ended up being $30 exactly for the two of us, and that includes 18% gratuity. So, not that bad. I dig it. It's worth it. I would recommend, especially on a port day, there's no one here. So you can sit out here on the boardwalk and it's really nice. Now they're just cleaning. I wonder what they were fixing. What's crazy is that when we were watching the Aqua Show in our other vlog, there's a tightrope walker that walked all the way across where the Royal Caribbean logo is. That was crazy. Look how high up it is. No thank you. Mm -mm. What do you think? Mm -mm. What should we do now? What go time is it? Go back to the room. 4.25. Yeah, let's go back to the room and hang out on our balcony. We paid for it, we might as well use it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. He just told us that tonight we'll be able to see a super moon and a blue moon, which is rare. Well, 
I came out here to show you that we ordered room service. We're fancy over here. What's under door number one? Grilled cheese. Chicken fingers. Philly cheesesteak. And then we got lemonade, apple juice, and tomato soup. It's all on our beautiful balcony in Central Park. Oh, we have one more. Buffalo wings. We got a night coke the city starts in about 30 minutes. It's called 1887 A Journey in Time. It's a historical ice drop. <laughs> nice shows on cruises are super, super cool. So I'm really excited. Look how close we are to the ice. It's a little bit cold in here, but that's the nature of ice. That's some cool set design going on already. Ice shows are awesome. Yeah. Dive on ice. On the ass. Had a nice show. <laughs> thoughts on the ice show it was real the cast is amazing very talented the theming I was confused by like the, the ice show that we saw in the freedom of the seas was incredible we understood the theme we understood what was going on this one I feel like was a mod podge of random scenes put together like I didn't follow the plot but the skating itself was awesome it always is it, they're very talented they're professional athletes but the the theming was random to say the least you know it was awesome though I, I really liked it I enjoyed it I loved the skaters it, the costumes were cool it was just kind of random like the music was super random but then again I'm not like a theatrical person like I'm not somebody that loves theater so like I don't typically follow plots well anyway so maybe it was just me I still think that the aqua show was my favorite show by far it was oh my gosh I've never seen a more amazing show in my entire life and I've seen a lot of shows <laughs> so it, oh, it was so good so good so make sure you see the aqua show make sure you see the ice show there's an ice show tomorrow night as well called ice skate so we're gonna go watch that uh, but for right now, we're gonna go down to Cafe Promenade because it's the only thing open besides Sorrento's and we had that the other day. Yes, the cruise director has been pumping up this Disco Inferno party Even all on week. TV, we've been watching the TV <laughs> yeah. channel and that's all he talks about. All week, he's like, Disco Inferno, be there. Disco Inferno, be there. So let's be there so that we're not square. We'll, we'll be there from afar. We'll be there, but with cookies in hand. Let's go. Let's go. They have coconut ranger cookies, and they don't usually have those at Cafe Promenade, so I am a happy, happy girl. 
I'm really excited. I've never been so excited in my life. I got a cookie. A cruise cookie. Well, I'm back on my balcony with a cruise cookie. I love cruise cookies. <laughs> We have two more full sea days left. I'm so excited, I love sea days. Make sure you check those vlogs out. But for now, I'm gonna eat my cookie and go to bed. We'll see you in the next one, bye.